All right, we're here with Coach Dave Cicchini after today's opener. Coach, not the result we want on the scoreboard, but so many positive things that came out of this experience for the team tonight. Talk about the things you guys did well and what you took from this game tonight that's going to carry us forward this season. Yeah, I thought we attacked the game exactly how we wanted to. You know, our defense came out and, and uh, we got our turnover early. Uh, defense fought and, and really did a great job of steadying the team until the offense got their rhythm and we started going. And then... Uh, our, we really did a great job of playing Bucknell football for that first half. You know, you look at how we went into uh, the locker room. We had more yards of offense. We were better on third downs. We were kind of leading pretty much every category that you can lead with the exception of the score. Uh, and obviously that's the most important one. But I was really proud of the effort. And unfortunately, we just kind of hit a wall there in the second half. I mean, it's a quality opponent you played tonight in a really hostile environment. How do you think you guys responded to that? Um, there's so many ways we can go with this, particularly the offensive line that came in here with a lot of guys banged up on the offensive line, and I thought they played really well tonight. Sure, yeah, they, they gave a great effort, down three starters, and, and still competed and came out. I mean, that's a really good James Madison defense. That is the best defense uh, that our football teams over the years have gone against. Uh, it's the best opponent. I mean, I give hats off to JMU. They are really, really a talented football team. Uh, and uh, our players were excited at halftime. You know, we, we had gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a very, very quality opponent, uh, but we weren't surprised. Our, our, our players have been working really hard in the offseason and, and made incredible strides as a football team, uh, and uh, the atmosphere at halftime was we were ready to take the, the field and, and win this in the second half. So in the, in the first half, off, the defense, again, played really, really tough against them, and really the yardage they got, you mentioned we had more yardage than they did in the first half, but the yardage they got really came in a couple big chunk plays. Correct where the defense was stout throughout and then just a couple plays here and there. Yeah, a couple explosive plays that, uh, that they had and, and uh, you know, inopportune penalties on, on our part really was the difference uh, in that first half. And, and that's the way the game of football goes. You, know, you never know which play is going to really count. And, and uh, we had our explosive plays as well. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't result in any points until that final two-minute drive, which was an incredible job by Ralph Rucker leading our team down the field with uh, uh, less than two minutes to go and, and uh, an incredible kick by uh, uh, our you know, preseason all-conference uh, kicker, uh, Shear, has uh, had a tremendous leg. That thing would have been good from 55 yards. Yeah, there was no doubt on that one. So it also gave you an opportunity near the end of the game. You got a lot of guys into the contest, which yes. is probably part of your game plan as well. Sure. You know, you're going into a big game next week at home with VMI. Absolutely. Um, nice to see a lot of guys get to play at the yeah, end. Yeah, we, we, we kind of were able to empty the benches and get a lot of players out there that, that certainly have been working hard and, and get them a chance to go out and experience uh, – uh, a Division One FBS environment. I mean, it was an incredible atmosphere here uh, tonight in front of a uh, you know 25,000 or whatever uh, the fans were. It was loud. It was great, and and uh, you know our players. Uh, uh, I'm glad that they almost all of them got a chance to go out there and, and experience a couple of plays. Well, coach, it was fun for us to watch, and we're excited about the team moving forward. Thanks and good luck next week against VMI. Now joined by Ethan Robinson, one of the great players for uh, the Bison tonight. Ethan, talk about how you were able to turn the tide early on after we had a turnover. You come up with a big play, get our offense back onto the field by making an interception. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, it was just time to step up and make a big play. I knew it was important for us to come out striking hot on defense. Uh, got a lot of new guys on offense and a couple of returners, so it was important to get them going and get them feeling the momentum. And um, at, the, at the biggest stage possible, crowds rocking, you know, just get them to quiet down a little bit so our offense can think and uh, move the ball. So when I saw the opportunity, I just took it and came up with the play. A couple big pass breakups as well, and I know you wanted one back. It was right in front of me on the sideline, and you were ready to jump that one. If you got that one, you are gone. Yes, How sir. about that play? Uh, I mean, I read it coming out um, just on film study. I knew with that uh, Y off tight end and the number one receiver on the ball, they were running the inverted smash. So I just came out, read it, jumped it. Really want that one back because, like you said, that was six. But um, yeah, great play nonetheless. What was it like playing in an atmosphere like this with a crowd like this? And really, for a lot of the game, you guys took them out of the game with the play you guys had on the field. Um, I mean, it's what every kid dreams of when you grow up. Uh, you want to play FBS football. You want to play in front of the large crowds, the 25K, the 90K, the 100K. Um, so it was important for me to just, like, take it in, soak it in, but also just, like, um, tune them out at the same time and focus on my game and focus on what I had to do on the field. And I think I did that pretty well. So you came into halftime and the score was what it was. A lot of people probably expected it to be a lot different than that. Yes, what was it like in the locker room at halftime and carrying that into the third and fourth quarter for you guys? Um, high energy at halftime. Um, I mean, it was very similar to a year ago at Central Michigan. Uh, we felt like we were hanging with them. Um, second half, we came out, 
couple misfits, a uh, couple, a little lack of discipline in the back end, which is on us. And we just got to focus on next week being a four quarter team. And going into VMI, we really need that one. That's one we want, especially on the defensive end. So we got to tune up a couple things, fix a couple things going into next week. What can you get specific with some of those things? Like, what do you want to change going into VMI uh, to get you guys over the hump with that home opener? Um, secondary tackling, big this week. Um, I feel like we misfit a couple gaps. We were kind of lunging instead of bringing our feet. For a lot of us, we haven't tackled in a little minute, so it's the first one back. So I really think that will just come with time as well. And then just in the back end, just eye discipline and being able to play through the hands and not um, feeling the pressure when the ball's in the air. Um, again, another thing I feel like comes with uh, time, we have a young guy out there, Roman Pearson, played great today, played his butt off. And um, when we get out back on the practice field, I have a feeling all that will be corrected come next Saturday. Yeah, well, we're all looking forward to the home opener. We're really excited with what we saw tonight. Congratulations on a great performance yes, and good luck next week. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're here with Damian Harris after tonight's game against James Madison. Damian, big performance out of you. Three big receptions uh, for the offense. Talk about what it was like to play in this crowd. And then also after that, talk about what it was like to play with a new quarterback for the first time in game action. I mean, again, Ethan touched on it. It's what every kid asked for. The environment was awesome. The crowd, noise, everything you can ask for in a big football game. And I mean, it was, it was definitely nice to play with Ralph. It was interesting to have a new quarterback, just trying to get the rhythm. The first couple of drives were interesting, but I think our offense is way more productive this year. And it's a culmination of everybody's work over the years that's really coming together. And we had some really big plays, as you said, and it just, we just got to get it clicking. Was there anything that you saw going up against their defense that you were able to exploit to get the catches that you got tonight? I mean, it's just the work over the summer that I put in. I just feel like it's no, a lot of people didn't work harder than me. And so just the work and the relationship that me and Ralph have, just knowing where the ball was going to be right then and just making the play. So Ralph, we'll talk about Ralph a little bit. So Ralph came in and was able to be really elusive in the backfield and continue to extend plays. What was it like for you guys when he's doing that as a receiver? What's your primary objective? Run to space, get open? What's that situation call for? It's definitely a plus having him uh, extend the plays, but it's, it's getting his vision. Make sure he can see us, that we're still, we're still there with him. So if he wants to make a play downfield, he can. But at the same time, as soon as he crosses the line of scrimmage, it's time to turn and block and be able to protect him. So good performance tonight. Turning the page now, VMI next week at home. What do you look for there? What do you guys want to do against the, the, the key debts? Looking to build. It's just keep building on the offensive explosion and keep having consistent big plays. And I feel like we can win any game. We can consistently play. Well, we're excited for it. Great job tonight. Thank Good you. luck next week. Yes, sir.